What's up, yo? Welcome back to the channel, Breaking Bad. Yo. Season four. Church. <laughs> Episode seven. Ah, combo. Problem dog. Is there a dog that becomes a problem? Or is it problem, comma, dog? Wait, we got a problem dog? Yeah, right? Uh, that's a good that's a good question. I think we'll find out very shortly. But let's go. <laughs> uh -huh. We are coming off pretty intense broken record uh episode here where we according to y'all, because that's the only way we're gonna know this stuff, Heisenberg dropped two pretty iconic lines. He did? Okay. I am the danger. Oh shit. And I'm the one who knocks, even though Jesse knocked. Um, but I don't, I, we didn't get a really chance to talk about this. The line that really stuck out to me the most was from Skyler. Which? Is... I have to protect the family from the man who protects his family. That's true. That I, line. I like that line. That was a good one. I mean, I, I, it's such a powerful thing because it's so true. Mm -hmm. It's like, the stuff he's doing and another thing yeah, that... Yeah, to protect the family. Yeah, like how, how to him buying that sick new car for Walt Jr. Like, how is that... Prote like, no. That's like a total Goodfellas moment. Psh, psh, you need to get smacked up. How dare you put a mark on yourself like that. But it's also kind of... One of the things that kind of popped into my head is like, they just purchased this new car wash. Why couldn't they buy a new car? Because they just purchased it they but, don't have any profits yet right but if they had enough money to buy that what if they saved a little extra to buy the car is that not because know? then they have Does to that... show it on paper i mean they're gonna have to show everything on paper regardless right i know but like, i don't that's... know i just that's just something that popped into my head um i was wondering why it was such a problem that they couldn't hold off another 40 I, 50 60 thousand i just i feel car. like i feel like they should have waited a little while you definitely should have waited <laughs> to show any kind of profit yeah I mean, it's definitely... How much money did he make off of the donation page? Yeah, I don't know if we ever got an official number on that. If that just if that's still went going. away. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, like, I, I get the reason why you don't want to buy the car. I'm just curious, like, they dropped all this money on the car wash. They, Yeah, I, I just, I don't know. Couldn't buy their son a new car who's just turning 16 ready to I don't want to see that conversation. Yeah. That's going to be real shitty. I'm going to feel real bad for Walt it just, Jr. Yeah. And it's Walt's fault. Yeah, and it goes back to what even another thing Skyler said. It's like, of course, she's going to blame it on the bitch mother who won't let him have the car, basically. like, yeah. it's, it's a really tough situation because she can't be honest. Like, Walt could just keep doing all this nice stuff for Walt Jr. And, like, even other people if he wants. And it's like, Skyler's the one who's got to step in and be like, no. That doesn't work. You can't do that. Okay. And it makes her look like a bitch, which sucks for her. It just keeps going back to Skyler. Like, the decisions that Walt's doing, which are fairly careless, it's just going to make her look like look like a jerk. Mm -hmm. And especially to Walt Jr., who still doesn't fully understand what's going on. Like, he doesn't get it um, for obvious reasons. And he's just mad at, at his mom for not completely welcoming his dad back. Yeah, and like, like, so dad's not moving in anymore. Oh, look, you get a car. No, you don't. Yeah. yeah it's She's all, the it's, one who's got to take it away. It's a terrible situation. It's, yeah, it, I don't like the way things are falling on Skylar right now. Yeah, and Walt is just like, the fact that he hit that switch with her, like. No, that was some. She, she's, she has every right to be nervous and scared to be involving herself in this world. The fact that, like, she's caring and being cautious and asking Walt these questions and yeah, then he like, like is this flips dangerous? out. Right. Yeah. And then like he just flipped that switch. He's like, I'm the danger. I'm not in danger. I'm the danger. It's like, dude, like I don't think that you really like understand what's on the other side of that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean it's it's all dangerous. And now we got Jesse working these jobs and pulling his weight. You know, or trying to trying, he's doing his best and, and he's probably got Tucker still probably digging. That fool's probably Tucker! still, he's still probably Tucker! digging. Tucker, Tucker, 
Tucker. I like your voice doing it. Tucker. It hurts. Kind of hurts. Like it. Kinda okay, hurts so um, if anybody else watches Walking Dead, he totally looked like Merle. <laughs> like a miniature version of Merle. A Merle, yeah. like a younger, smaller, more version. strung out version of Merle. Yeah, I mean Merle's a big dude. That guy was kind of short. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like Jesse. Jesse's participating and playing along and obviously yeah. obviously Gus is just pulling them strings to get him in a good state of mind. Maybe he actually is starting to see something positive in him because he is doing some good stuff. Who knows? Um, he got him to stop using. He's a master manipulator. He's doing a great job getting getting what he needs when he needs it. I'm still very curious where Hank's mind is right now in terms of this case. Because he's got paperwork back and he looks motivated again and we didn't get any Hank last episode and I wonder if we're going to get some more Hank this episode to kind of dig and do more research and... I'm just worried. I'm worried for Hank, I'm worried for Walt, I'm worried for everyone. Yeah. I mean, like, the, um, the domino effect of stuff that is going to go wrong if and when Hank ever finds out that it's Walt, it's like... Dude, this is going to be insanity. Nuts. Just Total nuts. insanity. So, a lot going on as usual per this show, which is just insane. It's intense. It's crazy. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's... You ready to jump into it? It's, yeah. Let's go, yo. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Up that shithole. Like Gail's gonna pop up in his face. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> shit, dude. That's one of those like I couldn't play that game. That'd be fucking terrifying. Jesse. Damn, dude. Mm -hmm. He needs to be kept busy. He needs to. He needs to be kept busy cleaning with, that house. He needs to go hang out with Mike some more. Jesus. He's like. Sorry, I can't. Ha I can't handle a messy house. Even somebody else's house. <laughs> How's Junior? Hasn't said a word to me since we told him it was going back. Spoke to the dealership, they didn't want to take it. Spent the better part of an hour sweet talking the manager down to a restocking fee. Make sure you talk to the general manager. His name is Glenn. Glenn? Glenn. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me right now? What a dick. Can we not fuck it up, please? Oh my god, why are you being such a shithead? I'm pissed at Walt now. He is. Fuck you, dude. He is extremely lacking judgment. Like. No, he's like. Uh, his judgment is just out the window. No, he's gonna fucking do something and it's gonna fucking. Then he's gonna have to keep the fucking car. Oh, I'm, I'm so pissed right now. Damn it, go to your room. Like, he just does not. Oh, you stupid, stupid motherfucker. Oh, I hate you. I hate you right now. I fucking hate you. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm gonna get up right now. I'm gonna get up. I can't even watch this shit right now. No, this, this kind of shit pisses me off. You disrespectful asshole. Feel better now? He's gonna blow up the car? What the hell is wrong with him? <laughs> what? I just wanna know why he thinks this is the right idea. You son of a bitch. What is wrong with his brain? Yes, hello. I need a cab. How long do you think that would take? Contrition. Hey, there's, there's total contrition here. 
he was headed for destruction of property, but since it's your own property, I sweated him down to misdemeanor trash burning. Your little joyride's gonna set you back about uh, 52,000 bucks, so was it worth it? Just tell me it's done. Dude, what is going on with him? I don't like this shit. What is it, Fring? He will see me dead. And we're sure about this. Because Pinkman says he needs you too much. Ah, uh, Pinkman says. You can help me find a third party. What third party? Yeah, what third party? Someone who can ameliorate the situation. Let's ditch the thesaurus, all right? <laughs> you talking about a hitman? <laughs> Wrong answer. One or two guys west of the Rockies who do this kind of work. But guess what? These guys, they know Mike, and Mike knows them. Plan B. Look, we go outside my network, Craigslist, Soldier of Fortune. Let's say we get lucky. I mean, incredibly lucky. And find a guy who's not an undercover cop or some kind of survivalist nut job wannabe. Whatever Goomba we buy at some point is going to come head to head with our friend Mike and. Gus Fring, hey, just winging that guy is not going to ameliorate your situation. Not by a damn sight. <laughs> I tried to solve this myself, but I can't get anywhere near him. Yeah, I saw him. Oh, hey, he's cleaning you up! solve before you tell me. I give him the latest. How close were you to him? Close. And closer than you and me right now. He said he sees things in people. What? Gus was trying to kill both of us. And now he pulls you out of the lab and employs you as a, an assistant gunman? A tough guy? Does that make any sense to you? What kind of game is he playing? Does he think you're that naive? He can't truly think. Drop the sales pitch. I'll do it. I'll kill him. First chance I get. Damn, dude. Shit. <laughs> this is not. That sounds a little nuts. scary and dangerous for Jesse. Bogdan was averaging 19 cars during rush hour, and we are already up to 22. Jesus. How much is that? $274,000. <laughs> Jeez. Give or take. Before expenses. But I can't. This is too much. There is no car wash in the world that could do this kind of business. I never wanted any of this. It's true. She didn't. That is an insane amount of money to be bringing in. It's nuts. Every other week. And 50s. <laughs> that is nuts. Oh, is he making rice in? Right? Is that what he's doing? I just, I don't think this is a good idea. I don't think this is good at all. Not much of it. This is still the best way. 36 hours later. That's assuming that Jesse can get close enough to his food or drink. Right? I just, I don't think this is a good idea. Ba something bad is gonna happen. Keep it with you when you have the opportunity. Be ready. What are the chances that they bugged his house? That's what I'm thinking. Will they do that? Because they bugged Walt's house. It's a smart move. I don't think any of this is smart. I just, this is freaking oh, me out. Right. <laughs> Conceal it and hide it. Uh oh. Los pollos are on. Jesus. Spur the moment your dad just up and buys you a brand new Challenger? Yeah. Yeah, I, I barely got her on the block, and... M Mom said we couldn't afford it, so they took it back. Ah, oh, jeez. You know how long I had it? 15 hours. Seriously, how, how, how does that happen? We, we were looking at used cars, and I kind of... Ah, uh, guilted them into it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I hear you. Agent Schrader. Oh, hey, how you doing? Well, thank you. Is he going to ask him about Gail? <laughs> uh, can I get you anything else? A, a refill, perhaps? Sure. Take a Diet Coke. Thank you very much. Of course. Fingerprints. Hmm, I didn't think about that. Damn, wow. dad. 
Hank is on the case. <sighs> Shit. They're having a meeting. Oh God. This can't be good. Nothing good ever happens at this place. <laughs> Don't forget the fruit platter. What's well, a veggie platter? Veggie platter. You know how to make coffee? Sure. There you go. No, no, no. No. Don't do that. No, don't, don't do it, Jesse. Please don't do it. Oh, God, come on. This is making me freak out. This is going to kill a bunch of people. I don't have an extra holster. You stick this in your pocket, keep it out of sight. You're going to be here today. You're going to have a gun. They gave him a gun. What's the order of the day? Eyes open, mouth shut. Oh, this is the meeting with the uh, cartel dudes. Bienvenido. ¿Dónde está el resto del grupo? El único que viene soy yo. Mi serente piensa que yo puedo representar sus intereses adecuadamente. Yo haré un solo pago y cincuenta millones de dólares americanos. Fifty mil. Ustedes ya saben lo que quiere el cartel y cualquier otra cosa sería un gastadero de tiempo. Así es que sí, o es que no. Aquí no hay nada que negociar. Shit. He said he sees something in me. Like what? If I had to put it in a word? Loyalty. Loyalty. Only maybe you got it for the wrong guy. Yeah, maybe. That's what I'm starting to think now. <sighs> Jesse, what's going on with you these days? I uh, went back to the crystal. You sober now? Four days. You still working at the laundry? How are things there? Sucks ass. <laughs> a couple weeks back, I uh, killed a dog. I put him down. I watched him go. I was looking him straight in the eye. He was just scared and then he was gone. This dog never, never bit anybody. Well, what was the problem? Why'd you have to kill him? Watch the crosstalk, please. Maybe it's not the details that matter. How'd you feel about what you did, Jesse? I don't know. Who cares how you feel? Well, all right, so now. What kind of a person kills a dog for no reason? Calling. Maybe, maybe she's right. Maybe I, I should have done something different. Oh, right, this, this whole thing is about self-acceptance. Kicking the hell out of yourself doesn't give meaning to anything. So I should stop judging and accept to start. So no matter what I do, hooray for me because I'm a great guy. No matter how many dogs I kill, I just well, do an inventory and accept. I mean, you back your truck over your own kid and you oh. like accept? What a load of crap. Hey, Jesse, I know you're in pain. No, you, you know what? Why I'm here in the first place is to sell you meth. You're nothing to me but customers. I made you my bitch. You okay with that? Uh, you accept? About time. Damn, dude. It's the kind of shit that could get you friggin' have the cops called. That was fucking deep, though. It's nuts. I hope it helps him to get it out. Right? Does he feel better? <clears throat> I don't know if that's the right way to do it, though. Mm -hmm. Seeing you walk in here. I can't tell you what that means to all of us. Chalk it up to clean lemon and vitamin pills. There we go.
You remember my pal, Tim Roberts, APD detective? Well, he's working on a murder case. The victim's a 34-year-old male Caucasian by the name of Gail Bedecker. One night last month, Bedecker opens the door and, bam, takes a bullet to the face from a person, persons uh, unknown. He's a nerd's nerd, vegan, uh, sandals and socks kind of guy. He's also an A number one meth cook. And what caught my eye is uh, his specialty products, blue. What I think we got here is Heisenberg's former cook, and maybe a line on Heisenberg himself. Shit. I find this. This here is a parts number. That there is a high volume HEPA industrial air filtration system. It'd be perfect for uh, the biggest meth lab north of the border. Okay. This little dingus here is manufactured by a big international concern. Oh, Magical shit. Electromotive. I call their Houston office, and eventually I get through to the nicest little 20-year-old temp. I use some of the Schrader's sweet talk on her, and before you know it, she's pulling files for me. He's... Turns out, six months ago, one of these systems was shipped to a depot right here in ABQ. Oh, no. Who signed for it? He's following the breadcrumbs. They have no record that anybody actually paid for this thing. I take a peek into Madrigal Electromotive, a tiny little foothold in American fast food. Pollos Hermanos. Whoa. What's a vegan doing in a fried chicken joint? Maybe he's meeting somebody. This guy. I mean, what do we know about Gustavo Frank? This whole friend of law enforcement thing? Could be a case of keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. <laughs> I mean, he's got the money to finance this operation. Maybe he's got the connections, too. Just maybe. He's our guy. Holy shit balls. Whole thing is off the map nuts. Except you just nailed the whole fucking thing. Can't seem to wrap my mind around this one little thing. What are Gustavo Fring's fingerprints doing in Gail Bedecker's apartment? Oh shit. And they end the episode. Fucking, fucking Hank, dude. Wow, I mean, good Hank. I, I just. Holy shit, dude. He just followed them breadcrumbs, just kept following them bread, breadcrumbs, and like. That was really smart. He's like, yeah, you know, you're right. It is completely out of left field and makes absolutely no sense. But boom, mic drop. I've got fingerprints at the dude's house. Why? <sighs> yeah, why would... exactly. How do you even explain that shit? How do you explain that away? Why would, like, thinking about it now, I didn't think about it when we saw their meeting. Mm -hmm. Why would Gus even go to his apartment? Why not meet him somewhere else? Somewhere else? He seems way too calculated of a person to have meetings in work, like, co-workers, like, places of home. Damn. So now they're going to bring Gus in. Is Gus going to roll over on everyone? Be like, yep, it was all Walt. It was all Walt. Shit. What do you even do? Yeah. Is he going to have Hank killed? Oh, <laughs> jeez. I mean, think about it. He's causing a problem. Get him the fuck out of here. Oh, my God. This is, this is just turned into, like... Giant chaos in my brain. Totally, 100%. <laughs> like, everything is, like, going haywire right now. Just, like, what what are the potential implications of all of this? Because Gus, he just nailed, he just narrowed it down to the top guy. It's not like he just found some sub-seller or some cook or something. He just found the boss of this whole whole drug ring and like I don't know what happens when you bring in the top guy I don't know how the top guy reacts because usually there's a lot of incentive for the lower level people to like yep, talk, about the, talk yep. about the people above you but if you find out that he's the one bankrolling all of this which I think Hank has kind of figured that out 
There's no incentive to find out who's below you. Because you're the guy. You shut down the top guy. It's over. Except in this case, he's not Heisenberg. And he's still the top cook of meth that these people have ever seen. So holy crap. I don't even... I'm kind of speechless now. It's just... Hank was able... Like, it's just so insane to me because Gus is insanely safe about the things that he does. Yeah. And it seems like this is a huge misstep. I will, but I'm really wondering how he's going to explain this away. I mean... How is he going to get away with this? Does he get away with this? Does does Jesse get to him before Hank does? <laughs> right? Oh my god. Like, we don't know how that meeting went. We don't know what the final kind of resolution was to that no, meeting it either. Was, it was no. Is that Was it a no? It's a you do what the cartel asked you to do. It's not, there are no negotiations. You do what we say, and that is all. I I, I misinterpreted that then. I didn't yeah. fully understand what. No, it's all good. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and if Gus isn't going to cooperate there, then he's got a lot of things, a lot of different angles coming at him now. He looks very stressed out. Yeah, and just wait till he finds about about this. Shit. Shit. <laughs> this is so crazy. Just, you know, I knew, I, I knew I had faith in Hank. Obviously, he hasn't figured out Walt and Heisenberg yet. But I knew I had faith in, in Hank as a detective to do the work necessary to follow the breadcrumbs and to investigate what he needed to and ultimately figure something out. I, I feel like people thought I was kind of crazy giving him too much credit. Um, yeah, he didn't figure out Heisenberg. But he figured out Gus. That's even bigger. Or he's got, like, the right suspicion. He, he's on the... Well, I mean, right. He doesn't know that he nailed it. But obviously, us, as viewers watching, we know he nailed it. He's got it right. Now it's just a matter of the actual DEA guy, because he's not DEA anymore. If it's up to the DEA to actually believe him and follow through on this and do it right. It's just nuts. <laughs> right? It's just nuts. <laughs> this show, every episode, just cranks it up to a whole nother level. Just, Damn. I mean, I, I figured us seeing the napkin at the end of last episode was going to somehow something. link to the restaurant, but, but I like, wasn't sure how There he... was a total, like, roundabout, like, circle back. Yeah, I wasn't sure how he was going to link it to anyone specific, and he did, because Gus left Prince at Gail's place. Wow. And... I don't know if I heard this correctly or not, but was the delivery set to the laundromat? No, they didn't have an address. They didn't have an address. No. Okay. I was like, where's... There was no shipping. There was no the, nothing. Where's the, where's the laundromat going to play in all of this? Right. I mean, because you don't need a HEPA filtration system at a laundromat. It's it, it turns into a system... It turns into a situation now... Where if they follow more breadcrumbs and see what else Gus owns, they might just start swarming all of his businesses. They're going to audit the shit out of him. I'm not even worried about that. I'm worried about Jesse and Walt in the lab while these fools storm the laundromat if this thing's in Gus's name. I didn't think about that. You're absolutely right. Like, Forget the auditing. <laughs> yeah, like I, that's the least of these people's worries at this point. I mean, because he's probably on top of all the money problem, money laundering. It feels like because of his businesses that it would, it would all seem pretty legit. I mean, you would think, but holy shit. <laughs> You got any other thoughts? At the moment, no. Yeah, we'll continue this conversation in the next video for sure as things kind of settle and just let our brains kind of My regroup. hamster wheels got to go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this was just such a crazy episode. You got emojis? 
Yes. Okay, we have a dog for Jesse. That's the problem, dog. Yeah. Gail. We have a flame <laughs> for the brand new vehicle. You were real fired up for that scene. Fucking Walt. I never, I don't think You Nikki... couldn't just take it back, huh? You couldn't just do it. I, I Jesus. Don't think, I don't think I've ever seen her so fired up before. That was impressive. No. <laughs> Watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> I literally, I literally, I have a blanket. I was going to get the blanket up, but I was going to fucking walk off. I was so pissed. Sorry. He's stubborn. Still mad. He's so stubborn. That makes me angry. <laughs> you want to show your wife respect? You want to like rebuild that? Don't fuck it the fuck. You know what? Stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Next. Chicken, Chicken for Gus. There's no napkin or anything. If, if there's like a handkerchief or something in your emoji set, give us that. But because of the situation, We're gonna it's a go chicken. With chicken or a veggie platter. <laughs> and then for Hank, we're going to give him a light bulb. Light bulb. Ding, ding. ding. <laughs> Idea. Figured it out. Light bulb moment. Follow the breadcrumbs and figured that shit out. Wow. Way to go. Mm -hmm. All right. Recap. What do we got? Dog. Fire. Chicken. Light bulb. Boom. There are your emojis <laughs> for this episode. Leave them, them down below. We love, love seeing them. Also, leave your comments on this episode. Did your head explode like ours is currently doing right now? Just leave your thoughts. We love hearing Just from you. A little, you. A little uh, yeah. emoji it's over my face. Crazy. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Wow. Bye. Bye.